This is the video you have all been waiting for. You've been asking for it. My top five moves of how I got my arms from flabs to fabs. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I get comments all the time, Nicole, show your workouts. How do you get those arms? Compliments all the time. How do you get it? Show the workout. Where's the workout? It's been years of requests. So here it is, and you better watch. <laughs> so first of all, to get to the arms, what I had to do was lose a ton of weight. At my heaviest, I was 275 pounds. I lost 130 pounds with diet and a lot of cardio. I just did portion control for my diet, ate what I liked, just less. Then I walked for the first year, then I started doing a little bit of moves. However, my arms were massive when I was really heavy, so when I lost the weight, there was a ton of loose skin on my arms. And I didn't want to get weight loss surgery, so the only thing to do to make them look better was to fill them out with muscle. So that's what I decided to do. <laughs> if you look at my before picture, my arms were huge. I never thought I could get my arms to look like this. So if you're struggling and you try these moves out, just be patient, it works. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you three of my favorite biceps moves and two of my favorite tricep moves. What I find works for me is a lot of volume. So I, I'm gonna do two sets of 25 reps for each exercise and I like using light weight because I'm gonna do a lot of volume and at the end it gets kind of sloppy like Mountain Dog says. <laughs> and also when you use lighter weight, it's a lot easier to control the weight, do proper form and use the muscle you're working. Most people use a lot of weight and they use their whole body to get the weight up. That doesn't build muscles, that doesn't build biceps. What builds biceps and triceps is using, uh, for me, lighter weight and squeezing with the muscle on the way up and squeezing as I lower as well. Okay, my first exercise, bicep curls with dumbbells. Nothing better than plain old bicep curls with dumbbells. I like lightweight because I can really get a good squeeze and burn on the muscle. I stand with the dumbbells at my sides and I lift both at the same time. I squeeze my bicep to lift it and then I squeeze my bicep as I'm lowering it. And I like to do two sets of 25 because I find doing a lot of volume with light weight makes my biceps really sore and it works my whole bicep. Second exercise, spider curls. Learn this from my pal, Mountain Dog, or John Meadows. I love these, it works your upper bicep. The peak action. The peak action. And I use an easy curl bar, again, lightweight. And if you have one of those preacher curl benches, we like to turn it around because it's much easier to get your armpits and the backs of your arms against the, the bench like that. So when your armpits kind of tucked right in there, rest the backs of your arms against it, and then lower the weight and squeeze up with your bicep and bring it right up about here to the, what do you call this, the crown of your head. Like that. Yeah, you basically want to let the weight, if you're using dumbbells or an easy curl bar, you want to let it hang over top of something yeah. so that all the uh, pressure and tension's on your bicep. Exactly. And then you bring it right up like that to about here and then lower. And I'm squeezing my bicep the whole time on the way up and when I'm lowering. And the last few reps of every one of these exercises are like so hard to do because my biceps are burning so much. And that's a good indicator if you go into the gym to work biceps, but you're fe not feeling them or you're feeling it everywhere else, you're not doing the exercise properly. There is so much blood in my biceps after every single exercise that I'm gonna tell you here. It's crazy. The third one, drag curls. I do it with an easy curl bar and oh my gosh, it took me a while to get the drag curl motion. Once I learned it, it works the bottom of the bicep and my goodness, does it ever work? Like my arms are so toast after this. So you basically hold the bar um, loose with your fingers like this 
and then you're squeezing your bicep and pulling your elbows back. Yeah, and as it's you do the exercise. called a drag curl because you're basically dragging it along your abdomen as yeah, you bring it up. You're like gliding it up as you're so glide up and pull your elbows back as you squeeze your biceps. And if your biceps aren't burning, you're not doing it right. So just keep trying until you get the proper form. These, my goodness, like my biceps just showing you there are on fire. So the bicep curl works the whole bicep. The drag curl works the bottom and the spider curl works the peak action or the top of the bicep. And again, I do two sets of 25 of each of those exercises. Then I move on to triceps and my two favorite tricep exercises, again, I do two sets of 25 and my triceps are completely burning after this. So the first one is a strict tricep pull, da pull down with the rope. And what you do is stand up straight, core tucked in. I keep my elbows tucked. And when I hold the rope, I, I'm kind of going like in a half moon or a half circle when I pull. And I'm pulling the rope apart and squeezing my biceps, my biceps. I'm squeezing my triceps as hard as I can and then I'm lowering up really slow, letting my triceps stretch out and then I'm going back down for another squeeze. Two sets of 25. The last ones I can barely get. I'm like struggling. Sometimes it's like 24 and three quarters. <laughs> and the second one, this is a very technical name for the second one. It's a overhead tricep pole thingy with a triangle bar. <laughs> If you want to know the real name, go watch Mountain Dog One or John Meadows' channel because he can tell you the technical terms. I'm not a bodybuilder. So basically for that one, I have one foot forward and I step forward and then I use the, tri the triangle bar and I'm pushing out, squeezing my triceps at the end and then I'm, low, I'm going back slow to stretch them and then back out and squeeze. So going back slow and stretching and then out and squeezing. And two sets of 25. Whew. That is an entire arm workout. <sighs> and it will pump you up. <laughs> <laughs> so the friends, not only did I get, like I mentioned before, John Meadows, we get a lot of our arm workout and inspiration from him and his channel. Also from Greg Doucette, we've learned a lot from. And the man behind the camera, the sassmeister himself, my sassy <laughs> He <laughs> <laughs> Easy man, it's PG over here. He teaches me so much and encourages me. And even when I'm struggling, he like helps me through to get the right form. AKA so, yell at you in the gym. <laughs> yeah, and tell me, do it better. Yeah, that's exactly what I say. But sassier. And so thank More you. More sweary. <laughs> Do it right. So thank you to all of those friends. Let me know down below if you try it out. Thanks for watching. We have two complete weight loss guides down below if you want to check out exactly how I lost the first and last how I lost the first and next 50 pounds. <laughs> We're really lucky this camera has autofocus because you move around a lot. I can't help it like, cause I got the lust for life. Yeah. That's why we bought the autofocus because this one moves a lot. See the sass comes out whenever I do stuff. <laughs> can't help it. And watch these two videos and do the shimmeroonie and get one of this and one of this and one of these. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to watch it, buds. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> Bye. See ya. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.